Hey everybody, I'm Danny, and uh, I'm here with Libby and Jay and we're coming to you from Yukonbe and Bunchong country for a session of Seaweed School. Thanks for joining us and hello, hi, hello. Today we're going to be exploring the world of seaweed uh, and doing some drawings together. So let's get started. What you're going to need is some paper, pens or pencils to draw with, and a big shell or a mug or something to trace around. It's one of the great things about going out at low tide, exploring the shallows, you get to see all these interesting things that the ocean has collected and laid out in a line for you. We call this the tide line. And if you follow the tide line, you'll find lots of interesting seaweed as well as other sea goodies. Here on the Gold Coast, you can bear in Bundjalung country, we have lots and lots of different types of seaweed, big and small, and all kinds of interesting sea creatures also. Low tide at Burley Heads, Talabudra, or Corumban Creek, often a good place and a good time to find yourself some seaweed and other treasures from the ocean and our waterways. When I get back home with all my seaweed finds, I like to look at them all together like this and see what I got. Check out my shells and coral, shark egg, and some seaweed. Then I collect them together in a little world like this. Sometimes I like to use a shell as the background. Have a look at what I found. If we want to get even closer in, we can take a look at our seaweed worlds through the microscope. The microscope gives us a closer look at higher magnification so we can see the structure of the seaweed itself and all kinds of tiny, cool little details. This is a microscope you can fit right onto your phone. You just clip it on and it looks through your phone's camera, just like that. Let's take a look in there. Seaweed is a kind of algae and has really cool shapes and textures when we look at it under the microscope. Do you know what this is? It's nori, yes, it's that stuff you wrap sushi with. And that's what it looks like under the microscope. Hasn't it got a great pattern? So, should we look at some seaweeds together and draw them? Get your pen and paper ready. Now remember you can pause the video or skip ahead at any time. We're going to show you some seaweed images while we draw them together and then we have some other images at the end of the video. You could draw them on your own if you like. And you can either draw freehand or you can try holding your paper up to the screen and tracing the image from there. Feel free to pause if you want to draw this one, which is Spirogyra, freshwater seaweed. But now we're going to start doing some drawing together. 